the single cells uh, can produce organs and tissue in the body thanks to their impressive capacity to proliferate and to differentiate. And scientists have shown, as you can see, that those cells maintain in vitro can preserve the capability to give rise to the whole organism. The idea of regenerative medicine is to remove those powerful cells, the stem cell, from the body in order to reconstruct in vitro the tissues that can be eventually transplanted, integrated in a full organ, and restore the function. And this approach as to the ocular surface in human should consider that the ocular surface is covered by two epithelia, the white conjunctiva, here is green, and the transparent cornea. And in between, we have the limbus, which is a small, narrow area containing the stem cell, which are responsible for renewal of the corneal surface. Imagine a lesion on the corneal surface, destroying completely the stem cell, renewing the cornea. And the only cells that can repair the wound and give repair to the body are the conjunctival cells, driving vessel, vessels to cause blindness. This is a real condition. You can easily understand that in this group of pathology, uh, we cannot have a normal renewal of uh, transparent cornea. And this is the real look of the patient uh, having white eye with vessels and blindness. There are no alternative therapies. In those patients, the classical transplant cannot be done. The approach of regenerative medicine was to take a spare biopsy from the same patient uh, with the idea of taking out uh, the powerful stem cell of the same patient in order to uh, grow them outside from the body, outside from the negative impact of the uh, lesion. And those cells can be cultured, can be uh, under specific condition, can be fully characterized, grown on a specific carrier, uh, ready for transplant, and then eventually go on the patient, on the same patient of this tissue. And these are some examples that you can see of treated patients, just to give you a view of what is the reality before and after the treatment. And those patients had the full recovery of the visual acuity. You can see the first two with two years follow-up and the second two with four years follow-up after transplant. Additional patient treated, you can see long distance from transplant here, uh, let's say uh, five, six, seven, and 10 years follow-up with the full recovery of, full recovery of the entire uh, organization of the tissue shown, for example, by histology, and the recovery of visual function. Out of more than 100 patients, it is possible to have a success rate of 76.6% with a stability measure up to over 10 years in vivo on the patient and the recovery of the stable visual function. So the technology apparently works. The number of stem cells kept alive during the culture process and in the course of the technology is instrumental in the clinical success. As you can see, uh, we need at least more than 3% of stem cells in order to reach a good success rate. And this is the most difficult part of the technology. This technology can be industrialized as it was carried out between 2008 and 2014. And this become now recently the first stem cell product approved for commercialization uh, in the world, and it is approved for distribution in Europe. The same kind of approach can be carried out for different epithelial cells, because this technology with my, me, minor modification can be used in different fields for the reconstruction of many other epithelia with the respective, their respective stem cell, like skin, other part of the ocular surface, urethra, and set, etc. This is the clearest example of uh, personalized medicine producing a tailored, autologous, transparent component of the body that can be fully integrated and remain in the body all over, possibly all over the life of the patient. One shot treatment. On evaluating the cost of these technologies, it should be considered that the patient, after one shot treatment, the maximum is two, they uh, will no more need hospitalization, repeated drug administration, no social care, and no family care. So they become, again, as before the lesion, 
Thank you for your attention.